There we folks were underway here at Eva Makai Middle School, starting off showdown. And what a match to start it off with. We got Jet Akuma and Rakar, Raka Shinoda kicking it off here in showdown. I'm your host, Extraordinaire DDB, filling in for the absent Felipe Ostro. And we're on the way right now. You gotta forgive me if I don't uh, keep up with these guys. They're two of the fastest wrestlers here in AZW. Nice headlock takedown there by uh, Rocco here on Jetakuma. Trying to go ground the high flyer here, gets him in a head scissors. And what a kip up there. And right back to the side headlock here. And he takes him down himself. Both these guys have been involved uh, in matches against each other in triple threat matches and four ways. Uh, first time in a long time that we've seen these two go one on one. Look at that here, exchanging arm drags here. Block there into a schoolboy roll up here. Only a two count there. Oklahoma roll. And again, just a two count there. I'm telling you right now, look how fast these guys. Look at those pinning predicaments. Look at that. And we got a standstill there. <laughs> Telling you guys, these two guys, man, they're real fast with those moves. Jed has got that Muay Thai background with those hard kicks. Rocco, too, he's, he's, he's not, uh, he's prone to use his body as a weapon as well, as you'll see throughout this match here. Nice shoulder block there, takes him down, up and over. Rocket to take down there and just stomps him. There he goes, sends him off here. What's he gonna do? Lock him off. Oh, and a nice reverse on the arm drag there. Oh. That was a thudding chop right there by Jenakuma. I don't know about you guys. Oh, and that's called a slap to the face here. We got Jed Akuma here on the outside here. Rocco's, what's he gonna set up for here? He's. Well, oh, puts the brakes on there. Caught him here. Oh, right to a Hurricane Runner right here on the outside. Whoa. Talk about high risk. Got the ten, the ten count here to get back in the ring here. Rocco gets him back in at the count of four after that beautiful yet dangerous run on the outside. Nice snap there. What's well, going to be coming up? And there is that kicks I told you about, those Muay Thai kicks to the back. Uh, this could be right in the mush, and it is right in the mush. I saw that coming. Whoa. I'm telling you, trust me, you're not going to see uh, hits that hard when you watch uh, Mayweather take on Ortiz, let me tell you. Only in AZW. Jedekuma sent off, ducked the clothesline there by Rocco. Gets him up here, wheelbarrow. Oh, and he just pancaked him right in the face. Into a roll up. Oh, and that was a two count there. I think even the fans thought that was a three count. It's a cold red here. This could be it. One. Rocco just got out and before the three count there. Jerakuma's got to focus here on Rocco Shiro. Both these guys trying to get back up that ladder here in AZW. Get back on a winning track. 
Now he's setting down, trying to grind him out, slow him down here. Got him in a side headlock here, he's squeezing in. Now he takes him down here, putting a little bit more of his weight on him. And he showed down here, 2011. AZW going strong here at Eva Makai Middle School. We want to, again, thank uh, Principal Oshiro. Oh, and a beautiful side suplex there. What impact. Also want to thank Vanessa Kealoa here at Eva Makai Middle School for giving us the opportunity to showcase our talent, our wrestlers here in front of their great crowd here at Eva Makai Middle School. Oh, and a stomp to the back. And we know that Jedekuma has had, he was out for almost eight months with a back injury here. And that's it, he got him. Here is your winner, Rock Hard, Rocco Shinoda. All right, this match has been uh, months brewing. These guys have been in a bitter, bitter, brutal feud here for the AZW Tag Team titles. Polynesian Power Trip taking on the team of Invincible, Corey Oliver and Connie Alla. And we're underway here for the most prestigious tag titles in the world today, AZW Tag Team titles, baby. On the way here, Kaiman and Corey Oliver starting it out. Okay. Well, right now, Corey Oliver, uh, who uh, definitely showed some disrespect here to the fans of Eva Makai Middle School with that t shirt. And uh, Kaimana here just like, clubbing him in there with those clotheslines and, and a kick to the face. Woo. Oh, oh, and he just dropped him there here with a plunge. Just a two-con there. Oh, he's tagging in his partner to... The biggest man in AZW, folks, Ati Valu. Oh, you see that size and strength advantage obvious there with Ati Valu. Oh, that's a slap to the back here. Oh, and the elbow right into the skull. Ties Kaimana back in here. PPT, man, they've been tag team champions for quite a while here in AZW. Have been going through everybody. But that's the thing about PPT, man. They've earned people's respect, man. They defended that title against anybody and everybody. From here in AZW, from IWC, they've been everywhere. And you can see the fans definitely getting behind PPT here. They earned that respect. 
Climb on here. That par. And look at that. Right into the cover. And you know one thing about PPT is, uh, even though the fans are behind them, they're not above uh, breaking the rules. That's how much those tag titles mean to them. They'll, they'll go to any lengths necessary to keep those tag titles. He's got a reversal here by Corey Oliver. Sacramento's own. Not quite the reaction from the crowd that uh, Kaimana got, but hey, to each its own, right? Cradle to a perfect plex here. Kaimana able to get out of that. And now he's just choking him, draping that uh, leg across the throat of Kaimana here. Trying to distract Richard Amasaki while he does that. The last time we saw these two tag teams in a ring together, Kaimana and Atifala were left lane. Kaimana was very severe, uh, took a shot to the skull, actually, with a sledgehammer there by Kaniala. Um, so he's back here. I don't know if he's 100%. I, I don't know who is ever going to be 100% from a sledgehammer shot. So, you know, but that's how much, like I said, those tag titles mean to PPT. They'll come out and they'll defend it whether they're 100% or not. Now we got tag team work here by Invincible here, sending Corey, Corey Oliver off, and here comes Kaniala. And a knee right into the jaw. Sends him off to a spear. He's got the count there. Atibalo, the tag team veteran there, breaks that up. You can see, and you can see today the fans of PPT wearing that color orange here. He's got here. Oh, and to a spine buster there. Draped him down with, here goes one. Arrogant cover there, didn't hook the leg, and Kaimana kicked out. Kaimana and Kaniala, these two guys have one of the most storied histories ever in Hawaii. Former partners, former enemies. These guys have been on both sides of the fence there. They know each other very well, as you can see right there. Kaimana able to counter, get that uh, backstabber there. Makes a tag there to Ativalo, and Ativalo coming in, the fresh man here, and just stomps the hand of Kaniala. And just in case the left hand felt left out, he did it again. Might have broke that wrist there. Look at that force there of Atibalo. All power. Look at that momentum. And oh, he could be lining him up here. Oh. Kaniala, former heavyweight champion here. Showing that uh, veteran skills, cutting down the big man, taking him off the feet. We're all the same size when we're on our back, so smart move there. Cut down the size of Ativalo, take away the legs from him. Lose a lot of that momentum here. And there is another kick right into the face. Now we got them just trying to isolate that leg there, that right leg, and you can see Corey Oliver, he, he's been known to use those knees as a weapon, and he dropped it hard on the, the knee there of uh, Ativalu. Now he's just mocking Kaimano. You know Kaimano wants to get right back in there. Again, working on the knee there. Is he really going to try and attempt uh, the... The perfect plex on Ativalu. Ativalu put it on the brakes, saying, uh, not today, folks. And said, I'll show you how it's done. Oh! He almost took Corey Oliver. Corey Oliver almost went full circle there. Fans here at Eva Makai Middle School showing their support here for Ativalu. But still, you can see he's still a little bit limp. He's showing that limp there on that leg of his. Oh, and there are those trademark chops. You might see the picture on Facebook, folks. Oh, he, oh and one more. I wonder if how Corey Oliver feels about those chops. I don't think he thinks those are weak anymore. The fans want one more time, so I think Atifalo's going to give him one more chop. I think Corey Oliver is thinking, no, please, no, no, no. And so does Kaniala and all oh, right there. Look at that. Richard Masaki needs to get Kaniala out of that ring right there. He went right to that leg again.
That just stopped all the momentum from the tag champs. wash right there they don't call him the pioneer of Hawaiian strong style for nothing folks he earned that nickname for moves just like that and I was going for that figure four here again working on the leg great tag team strategy here by invincible oh no Carmona has got to keep his temper in control here because look what's going on look at that double team in here Kaimana needs to keep his cool here Richard is distracted, he can't see what's going on. Well, oh, Kamana's upset. Antivalo needs to reach for the tag. He needs to get to his corner somehow. He's trying to see, he's trying to get the momentum, trying to reverse it. He just, he's about to get it there, and he got it. And Kaimana's seen enough. That's right, he's got tickets to the gun show, folks. Antivalo, is, you can see, real slow to crawl there. Don't know how much damage was done to that knee and that leg of his. Oh, I think he might have hit him in the, the below the belt, yeah. Is that what they call it now, below the belt? I think so. Like I said, PPT not above breaking the rules, breaking the balls, doing whatever they have to do. They... Kaimana here taking it to somebody he thought was his blood brother. And he showed that brotherly love there with a beautiful spine buster here. Tags in a knockout here. The knockout Corey Oliver made his return at Anniversary Annihilation. Teamed up with uh, Kaniali here, surprise partner. Made quite the impact, nice reversal there. Could be going for that, oh! What a maneuver there to that backbreaker. Oh, look like he's getting froggy. Could be going for, oh. You can see how these teams know each other. Corey Oliver had that scouted and put the brakes on that. Could be sitting up for a superplex here. It's coming, oh. Nice innovative offense there by uh, the knockout. Now he's gonna go up to the top rope, is he? Still nursing that back first. There it is. Springboard. Oh! Crashed and burned there. There's a reason they call it high risk. Oh, chop it to the side of the ribs. He's going to tenderize him a little bit, you know? There he goes, sends him off. Comes in. Oh, came up short there. Schoolboy. Two. Oh, we almost had new tag team champions. What a hard clothesline there. He might have knocked out the knockout. Set him off here. Duck under the clothesline here. Going for a super kick. Oh, he got him. Atifala still on his feet here, coming off the ropes. Oh, black hole slam there. What's going on here? Oh, what's Kaneala doing? Just came from behind here and got Kaimana. That was his goal. What is he, what is he doing there? Oh, no, this can't be good. What's, he, what's Kaneala doing? 
Meanwhile, you got the fans here supporting PPT. Harmano trying to get back in the ring there. Let's see what's going on here. Richard trying to hold back uh, Kaimana here, but what's going on here? Because Atibal is like, oh! Do you know about the sledgehammer in the leg? It's going to the modified uh, Cloverleaf submission here. Meanwhile, you got Kaimana and Kaneala on the outside. He's going to the injured leg there. He's got to reach for that ropes there. Took that sledgehammer right to the leg. That's it. That's it, folks. Here are your winners and new AZW Tag Team Champions, Corey Oliver, Kaniala, Invincible! Oh my God, folks, there you have it. New Tag Team Champions with a little help from the Sledgehammer, Invincible. Once again, getting the better of PPT here. And they are the new tag team champions. And I don't know what's going on, but Ativalo, he took that shot to the knee. He, uh, this doesn't look good, folks.